Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Cyber Rookie here once again. Now, in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can configure your um, controllers to Curse of the Dead Gods on PC. Now, before we do that, I will have to apologize for, you know, not updating my um, channel a lot. I've been quite busy with school schedules and stuff. But for now, I'm on vacation and that's why I decided to do this video. So um, with that out of the way, um, let's jump into the video. Now, all you need to do is you need to have the 64-bit version of X360C. And then you open up the game directory. Then you extract X360C into the game directory. Then you launch as administrator. Okay, so we have this here, create. Next, finish, next, finish. Okay, okay. Now um, my prompts are appearing twice because I'm using a dual gamepad. If you're using um, a gamepad with only one controller and it is going to appear once. So don't worry, it's not a problem. Now, um, what you need to do is click on auto and yes. And then you automatically configure your controllers to X360C. Now, all you need to do is um, switch up these values. So we have um, buttons 1, Buttons four, buttons two, and buttons three. And then you come here, you go to axis six, then inverted axis three. And after that, what you need to do is the last thing you need to do is come to game settings. Now, you can see that um, 64 bit. V9.1 and 1.3 are um, actually checked. Now, this isn't the first time of me, you know, configuring the controllers to Cursor of Dead Gods, so that's why this is checked. Now, at first, this is not going to be checked, so it's going to be this way. So you need to make sure COM is checked, then you need to make sure 1.3 is checked, then you check this. 9.1 when you do that you apply synchronized settings and see what happens in the game directory so you apply okay then you can see that the dll file for 9.1 has appeared so um for some reason curse of the dead gods uses um the 9.1 version i don't know why so um that's all you need to do so you come back to your controller click on save then you exit and if you're done you can delete this and you can even delete the um, 1.3 version it's quite useless so um now we're going to launch the game and you'll see how i play it i can't show you my controller but i'm going to show how i play it i suck at this game pretty much but I'm not afraid to show how much I suck. Okay, so um, Okay, so now um, we're in the game, and my controller seems to be working quite well. So let's start a gameplay.
Okay, so here is the game. This game is quite hard to play and like I said before, I suck at this game, so don't judge me too much. I, I mean, if you see some weird gameplay. The game lags a bit because of the screen recorder, but um, mostly when I'm um, playing it without the screen recorder, like it doesn't lag at all. I just get a smooth gameplay. But... I was trying to parry kind of, but it didn't work. The parry in this game, I kind of find it hard. Okay, let's take this. So um, that's pretty much all you need to do for um, Curse of the Dead Gods to work with your controller on PC. So I'll be ending the video here. If you find this video helpful, like it and remember to subscribe so that I can provide you with more videos. So, see you everyone. Bye.